The UH-1D helicopter that crashed in Isabella rumored to have issues back in 2015. It turns out that the UH-1D Huey helicopter that crashed in the Cagayan Valley on Thursday, July 23 was part of the batch that was rumored to be defective but still accepted back in 2014. The Manila Times reported in April 2015 that based on the documents they obtained, the UH-1D helicopters refurbished by the Rice Aircraft Services Incorporated or RASI and its partner Eagle Copters Limited had issues but were still somehow accepted. The article said that one of the issues was that the helicopters were not compatible with night vision goggles, and yet the UH-1D was conducting night vision goggle proficiency training during its flight on Thursday, July 23, before it crashed. Another issue with the helicopters was that their fuel cells were not confirmed to be self-sealing and crash-worthy, since they were not able to physically open one up during the inspections. This is the third time that the UH-1D crashed. The second one happened back in May 2017 in Rizal province, killing three people. All the UH-1D helicopters were grounded after the crash back then, but were returned back to service after less than a month. The first crash happened about a year after they were accepted into service. It happened in November of 2015 in Sarangani province, injuring nine people. All in all, that's at least three crashes in six years of service, averaging once in every two years.